Hello everyone, today in this video we will be discussing the SAN module for uh, important uh, questions and the notes which are important from the exam point of view. So these are the three topics business continuity, backup topologies and backup and restore operations. So I will be discussing what all you need to uh, get the maximum marks in this module. So stay tuned till the end of this video. Make sure the like button is subscribe on my channel for more days like this and let's get started. The first is business continuity. Okay, suppose that you were, uh, suppose that in any area a person was developing a software. Okay, and at that time a disaster happened and what the software he was developing that got destroyed okay and it, the software was developed for many years okay so at that point of time it is a complete failure and loss of time but if that data is getting stored somewhere else as well like a backup at that after the disaster that data can be restored back right then the business will be continued even after the disaster that is called as business continuity okay so that is what we'll be discussing mainly in uh, this uh, module what are the business backup uh, methods and recoveries okay so bc entails the preparation for responding and recovery from a system outage okay so the goal of vc solution is to ensure information availability information availability means that whatever the information is present uh, that should be available to the employees customers suppliers and the partners that is called as information availability three factors are there reliability accessibility and timeliness what are the causes of information unavailability disaster can be of uh, like the probability uh, like Based on the previous trends, uh, less than 1% unplanned outage and the planned outage, 80%. Okay, the disruptors of information availability. What are the consequences of downtime? If the downtime happens, what will happen? There will be loss of revenue, poor financial performance, damage to reputation, and the, and the business will be stopped. There will be loss to the public as well as the people who are involved as stakeholders in the business. So, how do we measure the information availability? Here, a few terms are there which can be asked in the exam, like what is the meaning of MTBM, which is mean time between failures. It is the average time available for a system or component to perform its normal operations between the failures. This is one failure, this is one failure. What is the average time in between to perform the operation? That is called as MTBF. Mean time to repair MTTR. Well, the average time required to repair a failed component. And this is a diagram how exactly the failures and the recovery is uh, possible. Recovery point objective. What is the objective of the recovery point? How much time it requires? The point in time in which the system and data must be recovered after an outage. RP of 24 hours, it can be 1 hour, it can be order of minutes, or it can be instant. Okay, what is RTO, recovery time objective? The time within which the systems and the applications must be recovered after an outage. What is the time limit in which the recovery should happen? Okay, that is RTO. So, uh, next we have the BC planning life cycle. This is also a question from the example of you. So, the BC life cycle has the five things here. Establishing objectives, whatever is needed to be established as an objective for the recovery and the backup purpose that is established. Analyzing means will be analyzing all the possibilities, whatever is possible and what are the steps need to be taken. Designing the solution and developing the solution, implementing it, then training, testing, accessing and maintaining. This is what exactly happens in the BC life cycle and for more information I have uh, put some points you can go through it. The exact key points you will be getting. Okay. Next we have the failure analysis. Okay, So before that let me remove this one business continuity is over. Okay, The first topic is remaining with two more topics. <coughs> the Okay. What is failure analysis? You are analyzing where the failure happened. It can be single point of failure or multiple point of failure. Signal point, uh, single point of failure means in this whole system, if one of those, uh, one of the things fail, the whole system fails. Okay, that is called a single point of failure. So how can we cope up with this? We can cope up with this. We have replicas of this. Okay, if this fails, the other one will be coming into the consideration, like a recovery. Okay, so that is how you resolve the single point of failures. The key points are given. You can go through it. Here we'll be having the multiple things. See, two things we have here. Also, two things we have. Here also two clouds we have. So based on this, it is a redundant network, redundant uh, HBS, redundant ports, and redundant arrays. Okay, like a uh, copy of each of these things which are present here, that will be present to recover from the failure. Okay, so don't pay more uh, focus on this. Just get to know what is the concept. Okay, what is multi-pathing software? In multi-pathing software, we will be having multiple paths through which the data transfers. If one path get cut, the, it will not affect the shutdown of the whole system because the other path is there. Okay. What is BIA? Which is business impact analysis. Okay, what, how much the business is impacting some area? Okay, so determine the business areas for each business area. Uh, identify the key business processes. What are the attributes? What are I calculate maximum tolerable outage? Like all the aspects of any business you are analyzing and finding out how much impact it has on a particular domain. That is BIA. Okay. What are the BC technology solutions? Backup, local replication, and remote application. Okay, so uh, those are the things. Backup topologies is the next topic. So, what are the different types of uh, backup topologies? 
here we have the backup topology we will be discussing then before that a few important concepts which are that will be discussing backup purpose okay what is the backup purpose because in any uh, in any disaster if it happens you need to get the data back right so that's what uh, that's why we need the backup and the disaster recovery operational recovery archival purpose archival means whatever you have done that should be documented somewhere right that is called as archival backup considerations and uh, backup um, okay uh, yeah backup considerations and uh, recovery considerations what all is to be considered when you are doing a backup nothing but the different aspects of the backup like the recovery time what are the size of the data how was the network connectivity and how many people were involved what is the client's objective what are the main focuses on of the business how much resources were used what is the time needed to complete a specific task all these key concepts are required in backup considerations based on that if it is a large company large backup storage is needed uh, like that okay like that all the concepts will be discussed and backup uh, backup granularity there are three types of uh, backups which i'll be discussing so let's have a look at what are the three levels of backup granularity means the levels okay like big or small so based on the uh, company and its objectives we have full backup incremental backup and cumulative backup in full backup it will be backed up every sunday full okay and in between it will not be backed up incremental backup means uh, whatever the work is done that much will be backed up every uh, end of the day and cumulative means how much is backed up that will be added on to the next added on to the next added on to the next and so on like that till the uh, week ends all the things will be added up okay so this is the incremental backup every day whatever is there is uh, sent to the production and uh, the uh, cumulative backup means it will be backed up full and cumulative backup will keep on happening and then it will be sent in one go okay it will not happen every day like how, how it's happening in incremental backup so based on the company's objective and what it needs to achieve and how much storage is needed for the uh, company's data we'll be using the different kinds of backup techniques again okay. what is the backup methods two methods are there hot backup and cold backup hot backup happens in online that means whenever their data is um, user will be using the system everything will be happening normally as well as backup will be happening in the background okay that is called as hot backup in cold backup the system is required to be shut down backup will happen the system can be used okay and backup architecture this is the architecture of backup here we'll be having the application server or the backup client it will be tracking information from the server and it will be sent to the storage node that will also track its information and then finally it will be sent to the backup device okay this is the architecture and the backup and restore operation is another important concept it has been asked in the exam so i think i have written here backup and restore operation yes it's an important question so here i have uh, included the image you can go through it but basically i'll be telling you what happens the main server is there there is a temporary storage there's a permanent storage from the main server the backup uh, operation starts happening and it will be sent to temporary storage then it will be sent to the main storage in between some other servers will be helping that's what's happening this is the backup server this is the storage node this is the final backup which is happening and in between these uh, backup clients and application servers will be interacting in between to store the backup will be sending to this one to uh, restore it will be getting from this one okay so here the arrow is like this okay it will be getting and will be sending back to the clients and the backup server okay and these things you can write now onwards if you understand the flow what's happening moving on we have the backup topologies uh, which is mentioned here backup topologies important question so there are three types of backup topologies direct attach backup in that we have the backup server here here we have the application server both will be interacting and the final backup will be sent to the backup device simple next we have the lan in lan we are one in, uh, extra thing which is storage network in between these two we have a storage network in which the data will be sent back okay next we have the sian based uh, in sian based also we'll be having the same thing but it will be fc sian topology which is uh, getting used instead of lan okay here we got uh, used of lan right but here we'll be having the fc sian okay next we have the mixed in mixed uh, we'll be having both lan and fc sian along with the backup client here okay and this will be wirelessly transferred here that is mixed backup topology and next we have the backup in nas uh, environments server based means server will be involved application server based in the serverless the server won't be involved will be using the cloud technology here okay serverless backup environment and uh, in ndmp back, uh, back uh, based uh, backup so here also some uh, architects are there you can go through it it's not asked much in exam but uh, still you can have a look at this one what are the differences you can uh, go through it and keep in mind so that's all uh, what was there in this module make sure the like button subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one